Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope everybody has had an awesome week. So I wanted to share my monthly grocery haul and I know this looks really small because I still have to go out um, tomorrow and get the rest of it. But this is the first part of it. Um, it is June the 3rd. So this is gonna be for our um, entire month for this month. If you guys um, aren't familiar, I do monthly grocery shopping. And um, in the past, I budgeted about $400. I'm thinking about increasing it now that we're out of baby step two to $500 a month, um, just because it's really um, tight, but I'm still working on that. And right now I'm still budgeting $400. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got and turn you guys around. So I go to a couple of different places um, whenever I do go grocery shopping. So. The first one is going to be the Dollar Tree, which is probably my favorite place to go. Um, I saw this um, Spick and Span cleaner. I had this spray, and I think this spray is like mm, 16 ounces. No, it's probably 20 ounces. So you get about eight more ounces um, for the same price basically and I'm just gonna put this in my refill bottles if you guys haven't used this it's really good and it smells really um, nice and clean and then I needed some body wash so I've seen a bunch of people haul this this soft whisper body wash in this cucumber green tea I'm not a huge cucumber green tea person um, or let me just say I'm not a huge cucumber person but I smelled it and it smells okay so I'm hoping it works really good and then my husband needed some more body wash as well, so I got him some. Then I needed some carpet cleaner, um, especially have Harley with us, so I definitely need that. Picked up some more of these Waller's Light um, Lemonade like flavored water packets. These are pretty good. I needed some more hair clips. Got some um, speed stick for my husband. Picked up some more of these Ultra Shine dishwasher um, detergent tabs. They're pretty decent. Um, I finally saw these, these Poor Brothers Salt and Vinegar. I have seen and actually tasted the jalapeno and it's really good. So I was really excited to see um, this and I did get two of them, but one of them is in the car. And then I got some fruit rice, like fake Fruity Pebble um, cereal. And that is 14 ounces, so that was pretty good for a dollar. Um, but that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then moving on to Walmart, um, there was a few things that I couldn't pick up um, at Aldi's. And I think I'm going to go to Aldi's tomorrow, but I have so much to do, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I did pick up two of these Sam's Choice uh, Buffalo Style Chicken Pizzas. These are really good if you haven't tried those. Um, they're usually always out, so I was really excited to actually find those in Walmart. And I got two of those. And then we really like these bold nacho cheese flavored tacos, kind of like the ones at Taco Bell. They're really good. Um, and I'm sorry, guys. This was $4.48, and this was, um, I think it was $1.62. Um, picked up some mild Taco Bell sauce. This was $1.34. Picked up some taco seasoning. This was $2.32 picked up some yum yum sauce. Okay guys, if you have not eaten this yum yum sauce, if you ever go to like the hibachi grills um, or the like steak restaurants for um, the Japanese steak restaurants, this is the sauce, I kid you not, that they give you and it is so, so good. It's a bit expensive, um, but it's really worth it. I eat it with so many different things, pizza and everything, but I love it. Um, it's, I think it was $3.92. Then I'm actually making a red velvet cake. Sorry about the shadow there. I'm making a red velvet cake. So I picked up some of this um, Marburger Dairy um, Buttermilk. And this was $2.32. That's going to be for my red velvet cake. And then I um, picked up two of these flaky crescent rolls in the butter for the great value. These were $1.06. Picked up some of these Totina Party Pizzas. Um, picked up two in the hamburger. And then I've got two in the triple meat there, and these were a dollar. My husband really misses these Oscar Mayer cheese dogs. These are his favorite, so I decided to go ahead and get these. These are $2.92. Picked up a box of this jambalaya with cheese. This is $1.54. Some all-purpose flour. I believe that was $1.30. And then picked up some of this Koneka hickory smoked sausage. This is going to be for our jambalaya and gumbo, and this was $4.48. 
and I picked up some vegetable oil and it was on sale. Um, I want to say it was 540 or I'm sorry, 448. And I think it was regularly like 566. So I was really excited about that. I need some of that for my cake and also for fries that we make. Um, and then oh, I also picked up a bag of these ballpark chicken patties. Um, my husband really likes these. Um, for his lunches and that was these are a bit pricey but you can microwave them and there are very few that you can do that with and that was $6.98 right so there's Harley guys how cute is she alright so I really didn't organize this for you guys and I'm really sorry about that um, but I got three of these cases of purified water they are the 40 count I believe they were $3.34, and this was actually at Sam's. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then this right here, um, this package of cotton nail, this was $11.92, and that was actually at Walmart. And then picked up two of these cases of Guinness Blonde. These were $14.97. You guys can see underneath here. This is IBC Root Beer. Picked up this 24 pack at Sam's for right under ten dollars. I think it was nine ninety four. That's a really good deal. If you guys like root beer, um, if you buy it at Walmart, one six pack is three dollars and thirty four cents. So that is a really good deal. Um, picked up this four pack of Jack's Original Sausage and Pepperoni Pizzas. Um, these were right under ten dollars as well. And then I picked up this large case of Sam Adams. This was $27. Um, pick, and this is all at Sam's, guys, all the rest of the stuff. Picked up this pack of Sunny's um, Premium Quality Eggs. This was $1.16. Picked up two of these cases of Blue Moon. These were $3.97 or $13.97. Yes, there's Harley again, guys. Um, picked up this. 24 pack of Red Bull sugar free. These actually had a $5 discount, but you could only buy two with a discount per membership. And they came out to $29. So right under $30, regularly $34. So you do say $5 on that. And I actually got three packs because that is what we um, go through for the month. And then I got this big container of these cheese balls. I love these cheese balls. I think they were $6.48. And it is a. 35 ounce, so that's pretty good. Um, and that is pretty much it, guys. Like I said, I'm really hoping to go to Aldi's because Aldi's is my absolute favorite. And hopefully I can get there and go in the morning. Um, I think they open at nine and um, my cousin and his fiance are coming tomorrow. Um, so it's probably going to be a little hectic and it's already hectic enough every time I try to buy monthly groceries. Um, not really hectic, but it's just, it's a lot at one time, um, cause you're shopping for the entire month and it's just physically, um, exhausting, but I would much rather do that than go every single week and do the same thing. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can get to Aldi's tomorrow and show you guys that. If not, I guess I'm going to go back to Walmart and finish getting, um, the things that I need for the rest of the month. Well, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and I hope you guys have a good night. Bye. Hey, guys. So, happy Saturday. I got up early this morning and finished. I'm going to show you guys. Finished my uh, red velvet cake that I was working on. And I was up at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning finishing it. But it looks really good. It is um, our cousin's favorite cake, so... This is all for him because he'll be staying with us, um, I think, just tonight. But anyways, I just want to show you guys that. And the rest of my grocery haul. Okay, guys. So I'm really sad because I could not make it to Aldi's. <sighs> I know. It's so sad. Um, so I actually did go over budget by $54. And clearly did not get as much as I normally do um, for the price that we paid but it is what it is um, like I said we've got company coming in and I just didn't have a chance to run up there because it's about an hour away from us and then come back and unload and do all this stuff so 
It is what it is, but I do plan on going to Aldi's next week for all you Aldi lovers. And if you guys can see Harley, I know she's a regular reoccurrence. But, all right, guys, so I'm going to turn you around. Um, <clears throat> I spent a hundred and, I think it was $134 total at Walmart. Um, and actually, I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree. I just picked up a couple of things. Um, I got this Hunt's Original Barbecue Sauce. I forgot it at Walmart, so I did end up getting this, which I really like because it's got one of these um, snap tops. And then um, this Lavender Chamomile Bubble Bath from Silk. It smells really good, really earthy, um, and I like that, so I think that's going to be really good, and that is 24 ounces. Also picked up this Clar and Danver um, Soap. It is... 15 ounces and I wanted to try this. I've been using Bath and Body Works um, hand foaming soap which I love but it's really expensive and I'm just trying to make better sense of um, some things right now. So I decided to pick up that. So that's everything just the few things that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start over here with what we got at Walmart. So I picked up this five pack box of macaroni and cheese from Kraft. This is my husband's favorite and I'm just gonna use these for a multitude of sides. Um, and I'll go over our menu plan this time as well because I do think some of you guys are interested in that. But this was $4.50. Picked up some of these King Hawaiian sweet rolls. I'm gonna actually cut these up and make them um, like little mini sandwich sliders. I'm gonna start making um, my husband's lunch or at least some of them going forward because he has a lot of microwavable stuff, but I run out of variety to get for him. So I think if I make it ahead of time, like the night before before him, that he will actually eat um, some of this stuff. So I'm gonna make sandwiches for that. Picked up some more of these jumbo hamburger buns. These are his favorite buns. These were $1.70, and these were quite expensive. These were about $4, um, but they don't expire until the 18th, so definitely get um, a lot of use out of that. Picked up some of this traditional pasta sauce. I use this to make homemade pizzas and I also use it for our um, spaghetti. So that was $2.62. Picked up this giant box of oatmeal cream pies. This was $3.50 and this giant box of honey buns. This is for me and this is for the hubby. Um, picked up this economy heavy duty paper plates. I absolutely hate using paper plates and I feel like it's extremely wasteful. However, um, it's really easy because we only have four plates, so I don't have enough to wash um, in the dishwasher every night, so my husband runs out of plates, so this is just, you know, if he's heating up something. This was under $4. Picked up this pack of tortillas. Um, the burrito size, I'm going to be making some enchiladas and also probably some quesadillas, so I got that, and that was, um, I think it was $2. Moving over here, I picked up this, sorry guys, this bag of spicy chicken patties from Tyson. I'm sorry about the shading there. Um, these are really good for chicken sandwiches. My husband loves these, um, so I thought these would be great. That was under $5 as well. I think it was like $4.86. Picked up this medium bag of cooked shrimp. This is going to be for our gumbo and jambalaya. This was $5.16. Picked up this two pack of cream cheese. I use these for a um, multitude of cakes that I'm making for the icing. So this was $1.57. So it's a really good deal. And I've used this many, many times and it's really good. Then I saw this festive taco season ground turkey. Um, this was $2 a roll. So I got two of the taco and then one of the Italian. And then I also picked up this premium pork sausage in mild. I'm probably going to be making some biscuits and gravy um, and also maybe use some of this for some homemade pizzas. Then I also picked up this jar of classic Alfredo sauce. Um, I don't like it as much as I do Bertoli, but I like this price better. So it's $1.50. I'm going to be making some chicken Alfredo this uh, month. Picked up some seasoning mix. This was $1.32 and there's two packets in there. I'm just gonna be making like some chicken nuggets and probably maybe fried chicken or so. Picked up, this is our gumbo mix for $1.54, I think. They didn't have the small packages of the pepper jack cheese, so I got the ones with 18 slices. These were $2.62. So instead of getting four because they did have more than the 12 in there, I just got three for this month. 
picked up some Colby Monterey Jack cheddar cheese. This is the one pound bag in 16 ounces. <laughs> in 16 ounces. Of course it's 16 ounces. Um, then some mozzarella. Um, use these for tacos, enchiladas, and then this is going to be for like our homemade pizzas. Picked up four packs of these great value deep dish mini pizzas. My husband really likes these. Unfortunately, they only had one in the triple meat. And then um, I got three of the other ones in variety packs. These were $3.62. Picked up some crinkle cut fries. This was $1.64. This is 32 ounce. Picked up two 28, 28 ounce bag of these steak fries. These were $1.64 as well. And also these waffle fries. These were $1.84 and they're 24 ounces. Picked up some of this great value pepperoni. This was $2.08 for our homemade pizzas. So you guys know how we love pizza. Picked up some chicken nuggets just for some easy meals, like with some macaroni and cheese and whatnot. Um, this was $4, right under $5. I can't remember exactly. Then I picked up some chicken breast fillets. This was $2.83. And that is, um, let's see, it's not quite a pound. Um, and then I also picked up some of this chicken tenderloins. These were $3.84, and that's right under a pound as well. That's just going to be um, for like our chicken alfredo and different things like that. Then I picked up some of this Black Forest ham. This is the 28 ounce. This was $5.60, I think. Um, and going to be using that for sandwiches. And then I also picked up this Great Value um, garlic breadsticks for just various sides. So that is all that I got. Um, and usually when I have this on the table, it's probably about... I don't know, maybe like $80 or so at um, Aldi's. So I'm really, really, really excited to be able to go there next week. But I wanted to share that with you guys. For those of you who don't have an Aldi's, this is still a good alternative. Um, I'm sure there's some smaller grocery stores. We really don't have that much around here. I think we have like a Publix, which obviously is going to be more expensive. Um, and then we have a Winn-Dixie, which is more expensive as well. And then we have Walmart. So pretty much what we have here um but i hope you guys are having a great weekend i hope you like this video um i'll definitely be uploading some more videos i'm still working on an update video for you guys about baby step three but if you guys have any more questions or comments please leave them below or any ideas or videos that you guys want to see in the coming future and thank you guys again so much for your support and i hope you guys have a great weekend bye